Hey everybody, Stoner Dave with Pot Smoking Fool with another report of quality bud from your local dispensary. Today we're going to do some pre-rolls. Uh, what a pre-roll is, is basically, a, it's a pre-rolled joint. Uh, instead of taking home the flour, breaking it up yourself and rolling it into a joint or loading it in a bowl or a bong or however you're going to going to medicate, uh, it comes pre-rolled for you. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of pre-rolls uh, per, like, per an ounce price. You pay more. I mean, you're, I mean, just like anything in life. You go to a restaurant, you're going to pay more than what the ingredients cost you to make it at home. So uh, I say learn how to roll. But there are times when pre-rolls come in handy. Um, you know, if you, let's say you're taking a, a, a road trip out to the lake, and while you're out there at the lake and you want to have some things already pre-rolled and ready, bada bing, bada boom, smoke it up. So uh, today what we're going to do is uh, I've got Best Buds. It's Flower by Eddie Parker. Uh, what I consider kind of a name brand bud, man. They got posters and stuff up. It's kind of crazy, man. Um, this right here is one gram total, and there's two little bitty joints in here. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. We have new lights here, so. Okay. There's two little ones in here, and they're little bitty numbers like that. So we'll do it. We'll do an unpacking and check them out, and then I'll smoke them up, and we'll, we'll see what we think. But uh, this one right here is Dirty Delight and Space Cowgirl. Yes, please. <laughs> so. We're going to try this out. Again, this is Dave, Stoner Dave, Pot Smoking Fool, with another quality review of a pre roll bud. We'll be right back. All right, all right. We got the. Put it right there, huh? Best Buds, Flower by Eddie Parker. This is uh, two half grams, man. So two little numbers here. Uh, I'm going to open it up just the way I would if I were, you know, out at the lake, man, fixing the chill. Pretty good packaging, man. Let's see how it opens up, okay? All right, come here. Now, oh, look at that. You just snap it, bada bing, bada boom. Inside, you got two individual little plastic ones. I'm not usually a fan of plastic, but because these are halfers, not bad. And you know what? I think they, since the last time I tried these, I think they, they thin these out, man. Let me, uh, and how you open these, you usually just squeeze them. Give it a little squeeze. Pop that out. That right there. Pretty good, man. That's a half a gram, you get two per pack. It's a little pricey to do it this way. This is a name brand, but they do have the cardboard. They're all pretty, you know, you know they have little decorations, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, it's just bud, man. It'll get the job done. Uh, it's top shelf, so I'm gonna try them out. One of them, Space Cowgirl, I can't wait for that one. So um, wait for my conclusion, see what I think. Talk to you later, bye-bye. All right, all right, man. That smoked pretty well. Uh, I tried them both out. They're just regular bud, guys. Uh, they had a pretty good taste to them. The one thing, like I said inside whenever I was doing the unpacking, is I can't stand pre-rolls because they put the little uh, cardboard filters in them. Uh, from my standpoint, man, is for me, if I'm paying for high-quality bud, I want to taste it. Um, a lot of people disagree. A lot of people say, hey, that lets you smoke it all the way down to the cardboard. Um, it's easier to roll. I hate it, man. <laughs> so give me a long, skinny one, not a, not a little coner, man. But uh, maybe one day they'll change their minds and do it. So uh, all in all, I like these, man. Um, I don't like relighting joints more than once, man, you know. So because they were small, yeah, you get one or two lights, depending on how many people are smoking. If you get a full gram, you know, coner like that, you might relight it three or four times if you're by yourself. By the time you get to the end of it, it just tastes like shit. So um, is it worth the money? I say no, man. I say no, man. I say it's a little, it's been a lot of money on marketing and stuff, you know? So uh, there's other pre-rolls out there, man. You can get a couple of half grams. Uh, they make little five packs of, of smaller ones. If you're looking for little numbers, go for it. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's not bad, bud. But in my opinion, there's better ways to spend your money, man. This is kind of a, a designer, bud. So um, with that said, still quality. Um, but I'm going to pass this one up. Pass it up. So um, this is Pot Smoking Fool, Stoner Dave, with another quality report. Uh, remember, guys, this is for information purpose only. This is just my opinion. I'm not a doctor. Uh, if you need to seek a, a doctor to get a prescription or something medicinal, go see it. I'm here to so just talk about how things uh, look, how they taste, and the differences between the different brands. So um, thanks a lot. Y'all take care.